What's up, y'all? Dangerous Voice of People's Choice, live and direct from the street. And today, we are going to look at the KFC console. Yes, the KFC console. Let's get into it. The KFC console, here we go. There's a reason mankind didn't peak with the discovery of fire, or the invention of the wheel. It's a feeling inside all of us that compels us to go further, reach higher, and dream of ways to achieve the unachievable. When the odds are stacked against us and it seems like the entire world wants to tell us no, that's not possible. Surely that can't be done. And we look up to the stars and say, just watch me. Because we know that rules are made to be broken. We know that dreams are made to be followed. That the impossible is made to be possible. And that gaming consoles are made to evolve. Welcome to the next level in gaming innovation. The KF Console. The KF Console. Power your hunger. Wow. So people, this thing is real. This thing is real. The KF console, the KFC console is real. This is the official website. Um, I guess there is a division inside of KFC called KFC Gaming where they're promoting some of some some game gaming entertainment stuff. And this this is a real console. It's a console and it keeps your chicken warm. Like, what? What? Built and designed by Cooler Master. At Cooler Master, we're wired that we may go beyond the outside of the box to deliver cutting edge performance with a touch of class. Ersberg Monty, led by the legendary Swift Crafting, Crafting Time Play, set about building this awesome beast, and boy, did he deliver. Only the best. Housing a cooler and a custom Cooler Master NC100 chassis, we got something small but mighty. At the heart of, of it is a beast machine, Intel Nug. An Intel NUC 9 Extreme Compute Element. Pretty much it's an i9. Um, and basically what it, what it is is um, a custom built PC built inside of like a chicken warmer. It's pretty much what it is. It's, it, 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 that's what it looks like. It's not going to be like a whole separate platform. But, you know, it says it's VR ready. It's going to have ray tracing 240 frames per second. 4K gaming. TV, it's gonna have all. It's gonna have all of these things. Now, what I'm thinking is, it's gonna have all of these things. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm still laughing at the fact that you know, they call it. A, they call it, a, it, it. It keeps your chicken warm, and you can game on it. Like what? I'm still get. I'm still trying to get. I'm still trying to get over that. I'm sorry, Coach. I'm sorry. Coach. My takeaways on this: number one, that. Um, why is KFC going going into the game gaming world? Like, what 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 point do they have? There? What's the point of them even getting into gaming? They sell their primary they primarily you know a fast food restaurant, well a family food restaurant, what they like to call themselves, and they sell no you no know, they're best known for fried chicken. KFC can cut the fried chicken, so I'm not sure what their goal is here. I know they've had some foray into the gaming world with some some they had like a dating kfc dating simulator then they had like some other kfc um uh, like video game which i thought was still a little weird but i didn't think nothing of it but now they're trying to expand into like a whole kind of console and i'm like i'm not sure how successful they're gonna be now um they say it's gonna have you know 240 frames per second 4k rate you no know, ray tracing all that stuff like if it actually can deliver on all of the things, it's gonna have an SSD. Um, a, it's, it's gonna have a GPU slot to, to hop, put a GPU in there, a, like a custom GPU in there. Now, if it has all of those things, and I could say, if it's at a price point, like if it's at like a three to four hundred dollar price point, this is actually a pretty, a pretty good. Um, gaming PC, like if they could pull it off. I'm still saying they keep saying it's real, so I actually want to get. I actually want to. If it's real, I actually want to get my hands on it. I actually want to get my hands on it and play it myself. See if it delivers on the gaming performance, and then 
you know. See, but actually keep your chicken warm. The same people's gonna probably put their hot pockets on there, <laughs> hot pockets in there. They're gonna put like people gonna do it all types of run. Like, what I worry about is if it's keeping your chicken warm, will it, that interfere with your game performance? Will like the grease get somewhere else or whatever? Like, I, I worry about the rest of the system. Like, yeah, you can put your chicken in there, but like, is it going to keep? Is, is it a way to keep it away from the rest of the components so they think I operate? Like, will it get nasty and dirty with the rest of the components? I think there's gonna be people that, that have this and don't clean it, so you know, I'm worried about I'm wor I'm worried about it being like a little roach motel. So, so like, if you're gonna get one of these things, make sure to clean it. Make sure to clean it. Well, it really looks like it's a custom built gaming PC. Well, from what all the specs is telling me, and kind of the way they packaging it, I'm like, that's what I think it is. So. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe to this if you haven't already. If you got to the end of this video, write danger at the bottom at, in the comments. If you got to the end of this video, make sure you write danger at the bottom. Let me know that you got to the end of this thing. Um, thank you for watching the video. I love you. Peace.